We finally have our first look at Emma Stone as Cruella DeVille in the first trailer for Cruella. We're reacting to her terrifying new role. Hey guys, welcome back to another shared news from home. We are so excited to dive into this trailer. Gabby, I have to say, I have been so excited for this trailer. I was a huge fan of 101 Dalmatians as a kid. How excited are you for this movie and are you upset? Cruella These are all great questions, Fiona. I <laughs> almost forgot this movie was coming out, so I was super stoked when this trailer dropped. Um, 101 Dalmatians was definitely one of my favorite Disney movies. I'm such a dog lover, so I'm especially hateful towards Cruella and have been um, growing up. But, you know, she's just such a great villain in the Disney universe and so different from so many of the other villains. So I love this and I really love that we're getting her origin story with this movie. Yes. So as you mentioned, this is going to be a prequel to 101 Dalmatians. We're going to learn why Cruella is as evil as she is. It is set to come out on May 28th of 2021. It is set in London during the late 70s and follows Cruella's rise from a young grifter named Estella to one of the most nefarious and, of course, stylish villains in the Disney world. According to the synopsis, which I am going to give you guys because this trailer is a little bit all over the place. It's not exactly obvious, <laughs> the plot. So just for some backstory, uh, the synopsis says Estella arrives in London with the aim of making a name for herself as a designer. But eventually her flair for fashion catches the eye of Baroness von Hellman, a fashion legend who is devastatingly chic. But their relationship sets in motion a course of events and revelations that will cause Estella to embrace her wicked side and, of course, become the Cruella de Vil we all know and love. So basically, it seems like she maybe starts off not so evil and this rivalry really awakens her evil spirit. Emma Stone previously told Entertainment Tonight, quote, it's pretty trippy, it's wild. She said, adding, she regularly found herself thinking, this is bananas while on set. So <laughs> I'm very excited. Let's just dive into these clips and see if they truly are bananas. Uh, first up, we will just meet Emma Stone as young Cruella. From the very beginning, I realized I saw the world differently than everyone else. That didn't sit well with some people. So it looks like in that first clip, they're sort of establishing that rivalry we were just talking about. I have to say, I just have chills. I'm a huge Emma Stone fan. That red hair, I mean, I'm already in. <laughs> me too. This is actually giving me Emily in Paris vibes, the new Netflix series, <laughs> because it seems like she's, you know, bright eyed and ready to take on this new role in fashion. And it's certainly setting the seed for a dramatic, uh, feud between these two um and overall just what Cruella or in this part um Estella is walking into right here but um yeah I I love how they're they're starting this it's getting me excited yeah and you know what I like we're not even at the creepy part yet and with that music I'm already getting like the establishment of something creepy coming so let's keep watching let's see some more but I wasn't for everyone I guess they were always scared that I'd be a psycho. <laughs> oh my goodness. So we're throwing out the word psycho. We got a little peek at that creepy laugh. Honestly, the sets seem like this movie is going to be amazing. Just that glimpse of the gate, the car. I am so thrilled by the world they're setting up here. Yes, that is a classic, you know, old school car. And I love that they're just taking this back to when the 101 Dalmatians was obviously set back in that um, old London sort of scene. And then obviously a little bit even before that, because we're getting the younger years of Cruella. So I love this throwback. And overall, this is just really reminding me of Joker, um, the latest mm. one with Joaquin Phoenix, because... I just think it has those vibes. We're getting, you know, their years before they turned evil. And so I think there's tons of parallels with just taking this villain that everybody knows. And it's such a classic staple in Disney films and, you know, rewinding the clock, adding all these dark 
um, elements and all this creepy stuff, which um, Joker was, you know, such a an amazing movie that did so well, um, you know, the year that it came out and Oscar noms here and there. So I'm not surprised that Disney's wanting to recreate that in their own way. And I mean, Emma Stone herself is an Oscar winner. So who knows where this film is going to go if it does well. I mean, the thing is, Cruella is such an interesting character in the land of Disney villains because she's not magical and mystical. You know what I mean? She's not casting spells or poisoning apples. She just really is an evil person. <laughs> so it's yeah. going to be really interesting to see how they establish this backstory. Obviously, her character is going to be working towards something, and that something seems like it's going to be quite the statement, at least maybe on the fashion front. Let's take a look. But a new day brings new opportunities. And I was ready to make a statement. How does the saying go? So okay. I have to say, chills in that moment. A little fire. I'm loving it. We're seeing our first glimpse of her with the black and white hair here. And you know, I'm just picking this apart, looking for what we can pick up on. It looks like her rival is also all about the black and white. So I'm starting to see how maybe the fashion uh, is going to play a really big role in this. I mean, just the dress alone right there. I'm like blown away. Me too. I really feel like this is her transformation from being Estella and then into her role as Cruella so I feel like this is later in the movie or you know a little bit more into it but I feel like this is like really the moment where she's showing everyone at this seemingly masquerade ball um she's making a statement she is you know changing her whole persona and then it's going to be chaos from here on out <laughs> yeah clearly I mean she's just getting started let's just dive right into the next clip because there is chaos to come I am woman hear me roll I'm just getting started, darling. So she's just getting started. I don't even know what to make of these clips. It looks like they're maybe robbing some sort of vault of birds. I mean, I don't know. What do you make of this, Gabby? <laughs> Yeah, that was a lot in that short clip. I don't know. There was a heist going on. Now here she is with, you know, some of her fashion designs and another amazing costume um, from Cruella. But it looks like she's going to be heading up some crazy antics that is going down in London and just taking people along for the ride. I'm wondering what her actual goal is, like as a person, if it's to rise and become like the best fashion designer in London. Um, you know, that would go along with the fact that she uses dog skins or with Dalmatians, how like that was her classic thing that she did um, in the original movies. We haven't seen mm -hmm. very many dogs though at all. I mean, there was even that clip with like a ton of birds like flying everywhere. Like that was super creepy, but haven't even seen many Dalmatians. So I'm interested if that's going to be a huge part of it and it's just not really in this trailer very much or if they're kind of even leaning away from that and going into all these other details. Yeah, it'll be really interesting to see. We saw a quick clip of like, I think two or three, but it could be that Dalmatians are really not a part of this movie at all, which would be totally unique considering that's really all we know about her. <laughs> her evil obsession hmm. with those poor dogs. Um, hmm. Okay, we still obviously don't really know what's going on. Let's keep watching, see if we can pull out some more clues. So, hello, cruel world. It seems as though her surroundings are evil. She's going to be evil. I mean, I have to say, I wasn't expecting to watch this and go, oh, this movie's for kids. But this really is, you know, it's a dark storyline. It's a dark character. It's a dark story. I think it's really going to be for those of us who grew up with the film and are older now and, you know, can mm -hmm. really appreciate a good villain. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. That totally makes sense. It's definitely for our age group who loved the animated movies. I even loved the live action versions with Glenn Close with her as Cruella. So um, I'm. this is definitely for our group. Um, I'm wondering how they're going to portray her in the storyline if she's going to be a villain like in her world of a plot or if like mm -hmm. she's the protagonist because I know like in Back to the Joker film, 
he was the protagonist, but he was also the antagonist. And like, you were on his side and not, and like, it was hard to decide throughout the film, like if you were rooting for them or not, um, whether they were the hero or the villain. So um, it'll be interesting, but I think the world around her, like we're just going to get her perspective more, which is going to be cool. Yeah, it's it's so interesting. That's a really good point. Are we going to be rooting for her? Are we going to be rooting against her? Like, how is this all going to play out? We still don't really have the answer to the question of who is Corella. We know some things about her, but that's, I think, Gabby, my biggest question now. Am I going to be rooting for this evil character or just horrified with her throughout? Let's keep watching this trailer. The thing is, I was born crazy. So another little Dalmatian Easter egg there. That little like smile moment. Oh my God, goosebumps. She's definitely creepy. <laughs> um, I think they're kind of establishing her as one of those like evil geniuses, right? She was born brilliant. She was born bad. It seems like she maybe is going to be uh, super talented while also super, super uh the word I'm looking for, devilish, demented, evil, you know, all of the above. <laughs> it seems like it's going to be quite a wild ride. Definitely. Evil genius. I think that's the exact proper way to describe her here. Um, yeah, like we were saying earlier, not sure if I'm going to be rooting for her. If this movie can convince me that I should be rooting for like somebody who kills puppies, that would be um, an amazing success on the film's part, because at this point, that's not something I would normally do. So again, like we haven't seen many of the doll clips. There was one in this scene as well. But I'm curious what her, you know, stick is going to be if it's not that or what else they're going to lean into. This scene specifically looks, again, just like the final scene of the Joker where it's just absolute chaos and riots in the streets and like setting <laughs> the city on fire. So she seems like a direct parallel to uh, that character. Yeah, it is interesting. I wonder if perhaps this this rivalry they're setting up, if the dogs are precious or important to that character, and you know, this rivalry between them is what establishes her horrific lust for the puppies. Um, which again, I'm with you, Gabby. I'm I'm not in support <laughs> of surprisingly. Um, there is clearly a lot going on. It seems like Corella is truly just going to be getting into all sorts of trouble throughout this film. So literally, yes. as you just said, <laughs> setting things on fire, she's something, something is aflame there. And uh, that last shot, I have chills. She's, she's established her new persona. It's going to be an intense film, to say the least. Definitely. That last shot specifically. And all the other ones, she seemed, you know, pretty done up, looking perfect, always having an amazing outfit on. But this one, she was pretty disheveled, makeup everywhere, you know, hair kind of a mess. So I'm wondering... What happens to get her to that point specifically? This absolutely looks like it's going to be intense, edgy, incredible. I'm so excited. Gabby, this is not the first sort of older character, older storyline that Disney has brought back in a modern live action. Have you been into these films? I mean, the bar is set kind of high. They've had some fairly successful ones, you know, with really impressive casts. So this is the latest in the line of bringing back some of these I'm gonna say beloved characters, but you know what I'm going for here. Let's not say Corolla <laughs> yes. beloved, but iconic. <laughs> iconic, yes. Yeah, I think um, the ones that come to mind are the Maleficent films. There's already been a couple of them. Angelina Jolie is like an amazing, iconic actress as well. So I think this is a similar scenario where they're taking an older villain, bringing in an amazing actress who's going to do it so much justice and really targeting, you know, our age group and this audience who loves those classic Disney films, like we were mentioning earlier. So I think it's going to do really well. If not, you know, we're going to be seeing uh, prequels, more prequels, other sequels and things that just like keep going around this universe because Disney has just so many stories they can lean into and expand upon, you know, the world that they've already created. And if you love Cruella, if you love 101 Dalmatians, if that was like your favorite animated movie growing up, there's already a built-in audience for that. So I think people are going to really enjoy this one. Yeah, I mean, you're so right. This is a prequel. We could be seeing 101 Dalmatians live action next with Emma Stone, you know, continuing on with this character. So the possibilities are endless. 
You guys, this is just the first trailer. I cannot wait to see what else they tease us with as we lead up to the release date. We, of course, want to know your thoughts. How do you think Emma Stone looks in this role? Are you feeling it? Were you hoping for something else? Let us know down in the comments. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell because we will keep you updated as new details emerge. As always, I'm your host, Fiona Zaring. I was joined by the wonderful Gabby Gonta. If you want to come say hi, our social handles are on the screen right now. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.